Hey, how's it going? I want to make a real quick video on what ginseng looks like and talk a little bit about it, how to find it and where it grows best. You're looking at an actual ginseng plant here right now. This is a smaller one, but as you see, the stems on these are not a woody stem. It's green all the way down. And you'll have what you call, they call them different prongs, like one, two, three, four, five, even up to six I've seen. And what I mean by the prong is right at the tip of that stem, um, the other stems will start branching out in the right if you can see that okay that would be be just great they all branch out right at the one spot on that stem and then as the stem going up this one here would be considered a three pronger of course you have your berries there which I'll talk about but that stem goes up and the leaves branch off right at the end of that you know and there's no leaves part way down the stem itself and stuff like that but you're gonna have five five leaves for the most part once in a while you might see it without these two little ones but you always have two little leaves and then three big ones so they got a five five leaf system on them you know on each prong but that would be considered a three pronger now these leaves there is little little jags on the end of them but not very big and they're fairly uniform uh, ginseng everywhere is pretty much identical to this as far as the berries this is uh, the beginning of September right now for the most part and these are ready to drop off they're ripe and if you were to take a berry and squeeze it which I probably just got juice all over the camera hold on but anyways take a berry and squeeze it open you're gonna get two seed pods in there and they're both hard it's just two seeds in in that that pod and what I do is bury them when you do find them that's basically the what ginseng looks like there's a lot of plants that look like it them characteristics will want you if you think you found it that's how you tell what it is so we're gonna look around and I'll talk a little bit about it too all right right next to that I started looking I got a another one here you're looking at a three pronger and then a two pronger and a um, another two pronger but when you are looking for ginseng as in here you got a plant there maybe three there and oh wow here's some more here's the one that was a three pronger a pretty big one holy crap here's another one here another three prong or another three another three another three a two and there's one there there's a nice three prong or here and I'm sure if I looked around I'll find more in immediate area but what happens is you're not gonna see that far but there's a ridge up there and a fairly steep hill that comes down and the plants had at one time started up there and the seed pods the seeds through the years will roll down and catch in the rocks and crevices and they'll grow and what I'm looking at here just say if nobody ever picked any or dug it chances are if say this was the the youngest of them all through here you would go up you'd probably see it scattering all the way up the hill if the soil conditions were were ideal and the farther up you went the older the plants would be and from what I've heard, ginseng can you know live for 70, 80, 90 years. So I'd say a lot of these plants are probably 12, 15 years old. So you know, and the same with working down the hill. You'll I'll probably find some down there. But uh, they like a real sandy salt loam soil. If the soil is like clay or like that, uh, chances are you're not going to find it. And they like a heavily, fairly heavily wooded area, about 80% shade they'll continue to thrive and do good what I'm gonna do today is break probably these tops off and then let them go another year and why I'm gonna break the tops off is it's ginseng season coming up here right now and somebody will probably trespass in here and dig these I dug this three prong pronger up here and as you can see this is what the roots look like uh, that's this is a very small root but 
they do resemble say a white carrot in a sense and there's a little bud if I can set this down right there will be next year's growth and the roots can get quite large bigger than a nice sized carrot but this year's a very young one it's probably only about six seven years old but the roots are hard they don't have any hairs on them and they'll branch off different ways or be one big straight tuber type root but they're not a real soft root and that's what the root system looks like on them here's another root another littler one you know it's not real big but you can find them quite larger but if you see every every year on the end of that bud or that node there you'll see scars rotating and that's a year's growth and they uh, these plants sometimes come up every year but they do skip years and lay dormant for a year so you know that's another thing to keep in mind just because you don't see any doesn't mean none is there again this is what they look like I'm a little ways away probably about 70 feet from that area downhill here's a pretty nice size tree pronger here just want to show you this one quick seeds are gone this is a fairly I would say a little bit older one there's the leaf pattern on it from a distance um, they are hard to see but in another couple weeks when he, they start turning they'll turn a uh, start turning a bright yellow and they're one of the first plants to turn they're a lot easier to find then now I'm even farther away here's another three pronger even farther away here's another three pronger I've been walking along the ridge line my guess there'll be a few more scattered through here because these soil conditions pretty good sandy silt loam and there we are right here kind of hard to see but this is a two pronger up down underneath that log there about 20 feet north there's another three and another three pronger here's one up here too person doesn't dig them and let them grow you can have quite a cash crop and another one same area farther on down the hill from what I was just showing you here's another one they hide pretty good in it amongst other plants and even farther down here's another another three pronger and then right over here is a two pronger so these are all coming off rolling down a ravine and there's another three pronger same area well there you have it that's what ginseng looks like um, I hope that video does help and you're able to find it if you have any questions go ahead and ask and make sure and subscribe I do put a lot of a lot of decent videos on with slow motion and whatnot I'm always tinkering around doing other stuff so uh, it only can help it's not gonna hurt anyways hey one thing I want to do real quick is show you uh, something don't mess with bald face hornet's nest I had filmed the bald face hornet's nest about a week ago and somebody come along and knock that nest now 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 they're rebuilding it so I put a, another camera up the time-lapse rebuilding it but I got stung today pretty good these guys are wicked I'm gonna drive by quick fucker tried biting me already Fucking landed right on my hand. Don't mess with them guys.